So let's think first of all. about the effects of acceleration and deceleration. So these pictures are obviously rather extreme, but they say a real truth. So in the top picture, the horse has accelerated out from under the rider, who's thinking, help, leaning back, pulling on the reins, pushing into the stirrup, and thinking her body's saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. But actually, as there, she's, as she's being the water skier to the horse's motorboat, it's rather like if she was on a rug and the rug was on a polished floor, the more she leans back, the more the rug will go out from underneath her. Or if you think of skiing, those of you that have skied, if you're there on your skis thinking, I'd really rather not go down the mountain and you lean back, the skis go out from underneath you faster. The same thing happens with your horse. And the bottom drawing is the horse has, accelerate, has decelerated fast and the rider's toppled forward. But even in a normal halt, to walk transition. You are asking the horse to accelerate. And in that asking the horse to accelerate, you may well lean back and cause him to tend to lengthen his underneath, go against the rein, and brace and hollow. An amazing number of riders are caught out in that simple, supposedly, transition from halt to walk. And even in the transition from walk to halt, the rider will sometimes end up tipping forward like she's surprised by the deceleration. Maybe even leaning back like the rider in the top photo because she thinks that's going to make the horse halt. So in all up and down transitions, what you're really trying to learn is to keep your balance point. Keep yourself vertical. Keep yourself organized. And halt to walk, walk to halt are the simplest examples of this. And even though it seems outrageous to show these drawings from that, it's not so outrageous as you would think. So here's a rider doing that same lean back as the horse accelerates out from underneath her. And the picture on the right that shows two people leaning back against each other, joining hands, counterbalancing, is a really good analogy to what's happening in drawing A with the rider and the horse. And if the rider and the horse are going to get out of this, what has to happen is that one of them takes a step that makes their body not counterbalancing on the other any longer, and then the other one has to kind of take a step and take responsibility for their own balance. And you see this between horses and riders a whole load. 